What's up guys? Hope you're doing well cuz I'm really not doing that great I just got my voice back the other day So I don't want to strain my voice talking and yelling which I could easily do cuz so much foolishness always occurs in my life I thought this would be the perfect time to showcase a video from the past So this video that you're about to see I made back in 2007 when I was in high school. It's called the Scooter Magruder show I had no cards the whole thing was just basically improvised But the guy I was interviewing was dead serious if you want to see a second episode of the Scooter Magruder show Make sure you like the video and comment on it. Also, make sure you pray for my voice. It's not a game. New video Sundays and Wednesdays. No! Jugamo Suegos. Throw me the alley. This is my show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome the first ever Scooter Magruder show. Actually, it's the second, but don't worry about the other episode. Today's topic of the day, online dating. I know some of you guys have a MySpace. Most of you guys probably have a MySpace. I have a MySpace. But today, we're going to talk about relationships online. And for that, we're going to zoom the camera out, zoom back on. And we have today with us Samuel Valentine. I like to call him. Samuel Halo Jackson. You know, there we go. Sam, how are you, how are you doing today, Sam? I'm good, Scooter. So today, online dating. First, we're just going to give you the floor and let you talk about your experiences with online dating. Well, there's not really all that much I can say about the whole online dating process. I mean, it's almost sort of like real dating. You just find... Well, it's not so much like real dating, because you do have to find someone else out there. But with the internet, there's a little bit more discretion, because you never know. You, there's always a chance that there's a, it's a male or a female. So that's why I've always taken the uh, precautions to go out and make sure that it's a female before I choose to be in any sort of relationship with this person. Because I don't just go out and say, oh, I want to be this person's girlfriend or boyfriend. I become their friend first before I do anything. Let me, let me stop you just there. Now, I understand you have a girlfriend. I do. Of how many years? Um, today, well, coming March 1st, it'll be three years. Three years. Three. Yeah. Online now. Yeah. What we're talking about online dating. Now, have you seen this girl? I have not seen this girl in person yet. Can, can you just repeat what you just said? I have not seen this girl in person yet. And how long have you been dating her? Three years. How have you communicated with her? 
I have talked with her on the computer between instant messages. I have talked to her on the phone, person to person, and I have uh, seen her on webcam every now and again. Not Web often, webcam. but yeah. So now, how do you know she's not cheating on you? I have a little thing called faith. Oh. So she's not cheating on you? No. Right now? No, she is not. But right now? No. So, Sam, what if I were to show you a clip of her kissing another guy <laughs> right now? <laughs> Can we, do we have that? We don't have You don't have it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Keeping on with the online dating subject, Sam. When's the last time you communicated with her? Yesterday. What did you guys talk about? Well, she was playing um, The Legend of Zelda with Twilight Princess on her Wii, and she was asking for me, or, for me for help as she was getting lost in the dungeons. She's getting lost in the dungeons. Mm -hmm. She's a bit of a Zelda and Mario fanatic. Zelda and Mario mm -hmm. fanatic. I understand that. Now, have you ever made plans to see her in person? I have, although they've all been a bit unorganized with, like, with her being a rather shy girl. She doesn't, she doesn't trust that her parents understand what kind of relationship she's in. Now, here, here's the big question, really. The big question. Are you in love? Yeah. I would say I am. And what is your definition of love? My definition of love, I guess, would be to say that the person who you are in love with, you have complete and total faith and loyalty, and that you can trust them and be honest with them and just be comfortable and be able to tell them anything and understand that they are there for you and you are not there for them. I understand. Are you going to stay with her, Sam? Yeah, I probably am going to stay with her. For... The rest of my life. Marriage. Yeah. Kids. Sure. Sexual relations. Whatever. Sam, I'd like to congratulate you. I uh, hope everything works out for you. Thank you. That was an episode of the Scream Good Show. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next time when we talk about homosexuals. I'm